Never been to Serbia or any of these Balkan countries. And it was supposed to be one of my best trips. Modern aviaries and heartwarming people shaped my journey. I have to appreciate being with Igor. True friendship were formed here. There they can fly around. We learned more about the topic of pellet feeding and exchanged valuable experiences together. Many um, emotions. See ya! See ya! Zivali! Zivali! Training? Nice birds, perfect. Let's go on a trip to Serbia, the hidden gem of bird breeding. Part 2 So now we are on another place. A Hungarian guy called Istvan in the north of Serbia. So let's check these aviaries out. See you. I should expect an amazing day full of surprises. Stay tuned and watch. I have rarely met such friendly people. That's simply Serbia. Welcome to the Serbia. So now we have some good food and then we see the birds. Oh. Serbian. This is what I like in the Balkans, in Hungary, in East Europe. Real friendly people. And when you come home, we celebrate, we drink. I really like that. Eat. We eat a and lot more eat. and have more. fun <laughs> and more eat and drink more. Good food. <laughs> Simple and good food. Before we had our food, Istvan showed us beautiful babies from this year. Oh, Inca, Inca. Mm, Inca. Mm, Inca. just opened some door and you see, he was very successful. Good job. And now you always get lovely food, something to drink, the house is like yours, it's open. So let's have a, a break and then we move forward to another breeder. And now let's eat. Yes, eat. Let's get. In Serbia, only eat. Eat, <laughs> drink, eat, drink. Okay, you, you understand. <laughs> This is soup, fruit soup with ice cream. Oh, I've never had that before, but Erika makes <laughs> very nice lunch. If we would stay longer here, we would probably drink some spirit. It's called Balika or Slivovica. 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 Balinka. Rakia. And Rakia, Rakia. of course. But we still have to drive, so unfortunately not today. <laughs> so now we saw the, the little babies, and now we will go already to the to the older babies. <laughs> this was the second clutch. Now let's go. Okay, let's follow the boss. Yes. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Eastman is really experienced in keeping and breeding white cockatoos and 
Grey Parrot. I'm surprised of this aviary complex and we haven't seen even everything. I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Something with 20, 25 aviaries just in this side. Packed with white cockatoos, with the Mater Mitchell cockatoos, several pairs. Lovely aviary setup. If you look at the birds close, no cockatoo is like plucked. They all perfect. So let's have a look closer to the birds and the aviary setup. Really like it. Istvan does have very clean facilities and perfect parrots in ideal conditions. This was just a standard in his aviary complex. The Major Mitchell cockatoos from Australia are not the easiest to breed, but Istvan does have very big success with them and about five chicks per pair every single you know year. Yeah. Okay. Istvan just showed me up there. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> it's even more on the roof. Also up here, once again, perfectly clean aviaries filled with eclectus, macaws and galas. Oh, this is absolutely crazy how many birds they have. Lutino, galas. A uh, blue fronted Amazon. Mm. Nice. The whole surrounding is just wonderful. Beautiful gardens full of flowers and a lot of African grey parrots. Yes, sir. Here behind me, you see now the baby room of little grey parrots and gold macaw. There's another Alba. These cages are called weaning cages. That means it's very small, they can't fly so good, they have to be on the food source the whole day, water always in front of the face, so that they learn to eat. If you put them in big aviaries, they have problem to find the food and they could starve. It's simply wonderful watching these beautiful young parrots training their muscle and wings. It lays the foundation of their being. Look at this nice blue and gold model. There are so many of them. And they just train to fly. Nice birds, perfect. The grey parrots here. So now I'm inside of the weaning cage. There are different species inside here. As I told you, it's a small cage that they don't fly against the wall, that they have their feet, uh, their food in front of their eyes. So learning how to actually eat alone, eat alone. They are very clumsy at the beginning. And they are still used to feed to get a little bit food day by day till they finish. You see now they're training, training to fly nice. And it's a nice mixture aviary. Here we have some smaller ones on the floor. They still need to train. Big birds. <laughs> and they need to, to train their muscles. That's how it is. This is aviculture. And this one does a great job, really. Look at these breeders here. They put all their money, all their time into the best hobby in the world with the parrots. <laughs> so nice, perfect. Huh?
Jo, jo. Super. Super. Let's leave them now in peace. They want to f yo yo. They want to eat. <laughs> Let's close the door. Super. My cameraman, Igor, great job. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve pairs of African grey parrots adorn his wife's lovely decorated garden. Each pair is just wonderful. African greys are demanding pets and need ideal calcium and vitamin supplementation in order to breed well. Try our vital pellets now. We have a very simple recipe with over seven types of fruits and berries, four vegetable types and a lot of healthy probiotic bacteria. No chemical preservatives, no added sugar, no synthetic colors and no artificial antioxidants. Check out our products. Look at this. Uh, this one make me a present. This is all the, the hybrids, huh? Hybrid? Uh, hybrid. 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 Hybrid, hybrid and, uh, and normal ones, normal. huh? Yes. Wow. Look at this. This is a huge sticker. You can stick it and... Oh, Thank you very much. Kösenem Sepen. English Kösenem. Yeah, yeah. Mm, super. Look at this. And also, some cups for my family. I'm really happy about this. With his name, phone number, I know him every morning when I drink my coffee. I think on this one. Very nice. Look at this. Oh. Okay. The picture shows the pair and the offspring, how it looks. So, Scarlet and Militaris is Shamrock. Yeah. The Ararauna, Hyacinthus, Kaloshua. Aha. Ruby, Harlequin, Quator. Oh. Very nice. Who after a heavy lunch we visit another breeder and I was told that this one has I don't know hundreds of sun parakeets and Aradingas and uh, let's see we will discover the north of Serbia today uh, I got pretty tired to be honest after such a lunch traveling many um, emotions made me quite tired but once I'm here let's discover the the breeder country Serbia I'm so amazed by the Oh, they are such a great hosts. Oh, I hear already the sun parakeets. Okay, this is maybe the biggest vlog of some tonnes we have ever seen. Hundreds of them. These are from this year, the others in the other area from the last year. Crazy. So many. But they enjoy to be in the flock. And actually, these birds are really threatened in their natural habitat. Franjo the breeder welcomed us very warmly. And in every corner which we got, 
We saw simply different species of parrots. What I really liked are the steel walls in every aviary in Serbia. This motivates the parrots to actually fly, not to climb. Franjo does have a lot of experience when it comes to parrots and I couldn't believe my eyes and this is just the beginning. Watch out the baby is coming. Well and if you don't have a paper to write down when the egg was laid, the wall is also suitable. He was very proud to show us his perfect pair of red fronted macaws and they laid the first time this year. Good luck! <laughs> so this bird farm is absolutely crazy. They have so many macaws here, hybrid macaws, um, cockatoos again. We have the sun conures down on the other side of the street. Um, where you look, <laughs> there is some birds also, again, oh look, on the top and on the other side on the top, it's crazy. How many, how many aviaries? <laughs> About 190 aviaries. Franjo loves hybrid macaws and it's not always easy to distinguish how they named correctly. This could be Quadro or Starlight. <laughs> Nevertheless, they are beautiful, but we really have to preserve the natural colors of macaws or any other bird in aviculture. This is a huge aviary complex, really. Now Franjo started to show me all the full nest boxes of African Greys, Amazons and much more. I was totally surprised to see so many babies. And the good thing, most of them were raised naturally by their parents. The second part of my avian trip through Serbia comes now to an end. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my Instagram channel for more daily videos and leave a like and a comment.